it's Wednesday on Your View. Welcome to the show. I am Murayo Afo. Larry Brown, as always, I have the ladies with me. Did I start with Obi Ajulu today? She has been gone for a whole month. Ah. Obi Ajulu in the building. Oh. 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 Your fans have missed you. <laughs> Where is BC? Where is Obi Ajulu? She's here. <laughs> Yeah, I missed you guys. All sorts of conspiracy theory. They uh, sent her away. Uh, uh, they removed her. Are you kidding? I was getting no DMs as well. <laughs> Did they start Every that day I would have to respond to DMs. People are asking questions. Have you left? Did they drive you? <laughs> Where are you? What are you doing? I said, I'm coming back. I just had to shoot my series. I'm yeah. done now and I'm back to work. So. Oh, you look so gorgeous. Look Thank at you. you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm working on my way too. Oh, ah, yeah. he's already showing. Your yeah. face is slimmer. Yeah. Oh, I nice. have to. I have to miss that one. I have to. <laughs> so they're enjoying the game with yeah, the game. Yeah, having a great time. It wasn't about her husband. Because I had noticed she was gaining with an animation to her. She was like, nobody wants to remain small like you. Exactly. Like, me, small. <laughs> me, small. So, so about now that I want to be small. Okay, the shoot was uh, so very it. intense. You did one season, you did how many seasons? I did three seasons. <gasps> oh my yes, goodness. it was intense. In fact, one of us nearly fainted at the end. Was bleeding from the, it was really intense, you know. But I'm grateful to God we're able to accomplish everything. We didn't have a spillover, we had to throw a party. And the actors, this one is packed. We had a lot of guest actors, known faces that yeah. came to support, and it was, it was. I can't wait for you guys fantastic. to see the magic we created. Oh, fantastic, well done, well done. Nice, nice, nice. How are you doing, Nima? Yeah. Your brooch is really pretty. Yeah, Your first time wearing it, I'm not seeing this. No, no, I wear it. It's so I have a, a from Miami. That, that styles of yeah. Miami. Oh, he's in Miami. I'm thinking it's Miami. So she sends brooches with my dresses. Oh, so nice, beautiful, nice. beautiful, gorgeous. Like in the bell. Good morning. Good happening? morning again. Happy New Year. Obviously. Happy New Year. First time we are seeing <laughs> this year. Yes. Happy to have you back. Thank now you. Now I can go back to my two days. No, no, no we are going to walk. Ah, we are, we are we are happy. Happy. Let's not disclose of it. <laughs> now me and people my okay. new people say she don't come oh, back. Okay. Oh. You can't go. Back, oh, yeah. You can't go. Okay. Thank cannot, you. We're not going to see you. Hey. I need you. I need your fire. Let's <laughs> create <laughs> some magic here. Anything hey. happening, YK? Eh? Anything happening? I know. I, I just saw inside the sun. There is a magazine in the sun for the governor of Enugu State. He's showing the work he has done and the work he has not done. The one he has finished and the one he hasn't finished. And I'm wondering, that colored... Why like are you not using that money to cuckoo finish the project that you have not finished? <laughs> <laughs> you can't I, compare I, I the cost know. of color prayer. Ah, eh, please. Talk my ass with the Mayfield. Ah, I forgot that disaster. So even I have with the Mayfield. So let me let me talk about something that they will do your because your own is also very hot. That already bank is only me. So talk about talk about the Mayfield because she travelled. You know, many of you know she's a real estate person, mm -hmm. so she needed some cash. people to cash to for them to clear her land. So usually they have these guys they call and they give them about maybe they have about three hundred k. Her manager takes about three hundred k and gives them ten thousand naira each for the so for the weekend yeah. to clear the land. Unfortunately, there was no cash. Hey, she couldn't get cash. One three hundred thousand naira. Cash. They was looking for three hundred thousand naira to, <laughs> to give these guys, but they couldn't hey. have find money to clear. Now. Her, she, has, she has lost him. She missed her deadline because she wanted to clear by this weekend. Oh. Unfortunately, she couldn't do that. So she has been a Mayfair lead. We have yeah, all been a Mayfair lead. Though. I have been a Mayfair In fact, yes, I had to borrow 100 naira from an orange seller yesterday. I saw humility before my eyes. I took a bike to the shopping mall. I paid the, you know, with my card. I was debited twice. Mm. And that my orange bank again. They didn't reverse it. There's only one orange bank in this country. It's country. them, it's them. They know themselves. <laughs> they know my name. It's fully on there. If they know, they should just check my data and, and refund the money. Account. Simple. So the shopping people say they cannot give me goods. We now stood there before the blue bank bailed me out, and then I was able to leave. Because so I tried to do. There are plenty of blue bank. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there are plenty. So the blue bank that has my name, they will know. <laughs> know that they bailed me out. But so listen, we, we did transfers. Transfers failed too. twice. Yes. Mm -hmm. POS transaction on my card failed yes. twice. Mm -hmm. And I was debited for them. Wow. Emefile did not help out. Mm -hmm. he's, he's not even enforcing his 48 hours reversal order mm. as a CBN governor. Mm -hmm. He gave the order that banks don't refund within 48 still hours. With, there's a lot of files right now. Yeah, but yeah. this one preceded this one that yeah, he just let, put let, on let ground. Let's let's they should be something. enforcing it. Uh, so I don't have my products, uh, my fruits. I can't make them because there's no cash to get into the market to buy them. So anybody oh. who's looking for pineapple chips, now you have to oh. wait till we yeah, find cash. Yeah, pay my pineapple for to transfer. Them. They don't collect. They, they need market. cash. Yes, in, in the market. market. Open market. So, right, so at least, before we just 
criticizing me really. I'm happy that he has taken our feedback. He's yeah. talking to us. Talking, yeah. He's talking, yeah. He spoke, he spoke yesterday. Hopefully, it was because this is important. The next 10 days, I think they want to close it in February 10th. We should be hearing updates. Mm. So according to Emile Fili, we'll get the updates from him in the newspapers today, yes. what he has done so far. So I'm happy that he's listening at least. So if you have an Emile Fili, stay tuned to know what is happening <laughs> and see how you can get your cash. Let's go on a break. When we come back, we'll go through the front pages of the papers. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. We're going to start with the nation. <clears throat> Emir Fele banks to blame for scarcity of new Naira notes. Tinubu promises prosperity in Cross River and to erosions in Anambra. NNPCL investing 2.6 trillion Naira on 70 roads. Nigeria improves in TI's um, latest corruption perception index. That's Transparency International, I believe. Absence of sick child stores Ikurimado's trial. And Nigerian needs a thinker, not a thinker. All right, which story are we going with? I'll go with the major, major headline. headline, please. Yeah, banks are to blame. So I have a problem with um, a leader having to pass the buck. Mm. So tell us what you have done and how you intend to resolve the situation. So according to the Central Bank of Nigeria Governor, Godwin Emefele, he said yesterday that the banks have not complied uh, with directives that he had given them on how they can phase out the old notes and, mm. you know, get the new notes. Yeah. And he said that they had given banks, you know, amount of money to install in their ATM machines so that at least an individual would not withdraw more than 20000 per transaction. Right. But what they realize is the fact that uh, the banks were now handing the notes to individuals who were using them to spray at parties and they, were, um, they didn't have any money put in those exactly. ATM machines. I saw viral video yeah. of some banks that people were struggling to even yeah. get. Nothing is in the ATM machines. So uh, that's on one hand. He also said that um, Nigerians should not be afraid that um, no matter how long it takes, even after February 10, which is supposed to be the deadline yeah. of phasing out the old notes, mm. you can take your old notes to the bank for as long as they are able to phase out the old notes. Once yeah. it's your money, just go to the bank. They will change it for you. So I would want him to go a step further and take more responsibility. You know how much you give to these banks, and now they don't have money in their ATM. Shouldn't you be sanctioning somebody? Yeah. Somebody has to you know, pay <laughs> for what is happening right yeah. now so that every other bank sits up and yeah. people are able to get the money. Absolutely. So, uh, uh, let me take the NNPCL story. Yes. So, the NNPCL will be investing 2.6 um, trillion on 70 rows in total. If you see the picture in the nation, the Minister for Works, the representative of the GMD CEO of the NNPCL, uh, Umar Ajia, and the F uh, Federal Inland Revenue Service boss, Mr. Mohamed Nami, were at this press briefing where it was announced, and that um, the NNPC will start with their first phase of about Six point, uh, sorry, 621 billion, which will be invested in about um, 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 sorry. 70 rows. 70 rows in total, but the first phase will be covering about, I'm trying to get the number of kilometers of road that will be 1,000 kilometers. 1, kilometers. And then the second phase will be 4,000 kilometers of road, which will be about 1.96 trillion mm. um, you know, in the uh, second phase. Totally, the Minister for Works emphasized that this um, administration of President Mohamed Buhari has prioritized infrastructure as a way out of economic, um, uh, our economic uh, mm. downturn and to, grow, to project growth. Right. And that the quality of roads and roads that are, will stand over 50 years mm. from this. When you look at this arrangement also, 
the Federal Indian Revenue Service is involved. So the taxes that you know the NMPC are paying is what will be utilized. They've also gone through to look for finance, look for financing through Sukuk and all other measures of financing that they have been pushing towards. So this is great news. All right, I'm let me take um, Ashwaju's um, visit to Anambra. It was very funny because um, he was in Anambra State. And let me quote him. He was saying in campaign, he's a flag bearer of the APC, and he was saying that he is not like Peter in the Bible who denied Christ three times. <laughs> like the same Peter that led this, this state that he's in. He was an era speaking with confidence. I'm like, hey, yeah, 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 your, your position states. And you're speaking with such confidence that the same Peter that led in this state would deny you, deny you all the promises he has promised you. That I tamed Atlantic Ocean. And the, so for those of you that know the long-standing erosion issues in Anambra, that he who has tamed the Atlantic Ocean by having a pool plan um, to handle the erosion menace that happened in Lagos. And he'll do the same also in Anambra. He also pledged to work with the governor, that's Governor Soludo, to become, uh, when he becomes president. He said that he wants to make Anambra a memorable, productive state in memory of his friend, Chuba Okadibu. Many of you know Chub uh, Chuba Okadibu. I'm here all, uh, say, he also to publicize the promise of developments he has made and that he's known that all that he's, not, he's, he's the Lagos boy, the city boy, and he's coming to come and help to fix Anambra. It was just interesting that he was, I didn't even think he was going to go to the southeast or certain east, but he's been there for a while and he's been campaigning there and there's been quite a bit of crowd to um, support him there. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, Any I other story to take the, the absence of um, the query Madhu's daughter in, uh, at the court case, you yeah. know, she, um, didn't, she was unable to make it. Um, she's in hospital for an unspecified condition, and her, her lawyers have also submitted a psychological report claiming she's not even fit to stand trial, because it's her, her mother, and her father that are up for trial in the, mm. so, um, the they've um, postponed the trial. Mm. They didn't say what dates. Okay. The Punch, New Nara Racketeering, EFCC to raid Lagos, Kaduna, Port Harcourt, Currency, Hawkers. Start with parties. Protest as a Kremado wife appear in UK court. LP governorship candidate orders boycott OB's Yola rally. One killed as tanker crushes three Lagos tricycles. How 100 bandits ambushed killed seven NSCDC personnel and director. NNPC ADAX N24 production sharing contract. And few scarcity threatens election and national security, says INEC and CDS. Okay, which story are we starting with? Let me just take the major headline. So the EFCC, you know, they arrested members of a syndicate of currency racketeers in uh, uh, trading in Musi in Abuja. And so they've announced that they're moving to Lagos, Port Harcourt, Kaduna, and raiding areas where they, in this new Naira uh, arrangement, where they hear you know, people are racketeering the new Naira and uh, the new currencies printed. They said they planned this in the hills of uh, similar raids that has happened um, by personnel of the DSS. So the DSS had earlier done this. <laughs> they are also following suit to carry out this, um, to arrest people. But I hope that they don't just go and arrest those that are relieving others. Because mm. uh, some people are actually making money from it. It's become a black market arrangement. Yeah, it has so, been. Uh, yeah. It has become a black market Totally. Arrangement. For 10,000, it's 1,000 naira withdrawal now. No, it's 3,000. Yeah. For 10,000, it's 3,000 naira you get. You get you yeah. 13,000 naira. Are you Money went to the me? bank. To get 10,000 naira, you know, to, you pay 13,000 naira. In the bank? Yeah. Not in the bank. No, in the... the those they are around the bank. Those guys are selling around the bank. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, hmm. it's a lot of uh, tough situation. I think they should rate those ones. Yeah. That's because somebody in the bank is giving them, giving them the money. Yes. But you know, I think you have to go to the top. Look for the top ones. The ones that carried you know? it in Ghana must go. <laughs> the one, not, you know, and because guys. this, even this money selling, it's, it's a syndicate. Absolutely. You know, there's okay. a huge... It's a small boy to catch. People, yeah. like, when you're yeah. catching these rats, those of us don't even know who the orgas are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. True. You know, go and look for the DSS, okay. do your work. Go and look for the orgas. orgas I don't like that they said in the story that they, they know that they're working with people within the banks. Mm, yeah. oh. So I hope that as they're cashing them, they're cashing bank. After. Okay, let's mm. take another... Uh, okay, please, let, let, just oh, let's take one. Let me go on a break. When we come back, okay. we'll we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back ask questions if I want to ask questions and if it's something that I saw coming I may not even ask questions I may just you
I may even tell you I saw this. What, if, what if it's in person? Mm -hmm. But then, would it make a difference where? So, like, this person might just say, you put, can just be on third mill language. <laughs> on a bike. <laughs> and the person say, babe, I cannot do it again. <laughs> and you lose range. <laughs> So, what would oh change? God. What would change the scenario? For, like, does it matter where? Do you want to have like a fancy dinner, yeah, like the film you were meant no, 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 to be no, no, talking like, about? Funny, and then, or do you want to be on the street? No, carry me no, 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 Or even I just on a run for treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> or you not a job? You don't tell you, you lose for your web. Now I don't turn a tempted mother. So, what? Which would it be? Because I'm like. In person, you have the closure that you want and a few injuries. Guys, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's one place. It could be inside the car. You can sit inside the car. Why car? Why not bike? Who will be driving? Why bike? Who will be no, driving no, no, at this car point? will be stationary. Pray I'm not the, the one driving. The car will be pray. stationary. Because I'll go, I'll go mass at it. You can't be told me like me. I'm going to drive near water. Where, where. All of, all of, all you must be considered. Thanks for staying with us. So we know, we know what you do. We know um, the kind of business you do. But we'd actually just know a bit more about yourself, how you started. Let me let me see some of the questions. Yeah. Yeah. Question. So um, I'm curious about um, your marriage. You have kids, right? You have, uh, how old are they? They're 20 and 24. Yeah, so how did you navigate uh, having to raise them and start in your own business? Did you always uh, start out doing your business or you had to work for some time? Um, how were you able to balance, you know, making sure that they were all right and pursuing your career? Okay, so um, again, I lived, I lived abroad for a long time. Mm. And so got married abroad and lived abroad. And of course, there it's actually even more difficult to get help. So I, I was a career woman. I was into um, IT at the time, computers, and then switched to, but I realized I had a love for what I do, which is event management. And I used to do that in the church I used to go to at the time. It was about 2,000 people in the church. And I used to manage all the events at the time. And um, I remember my pastor said, well, you have a flair for this. You really should do this. And so I went to school for it. I went to George Washington. Um, for event management. So we have what is called a CSCP, which is, I mean, that's not, I don't just do balloons, which is what event planners in Nigeria say. I'm an event planner, but flowers it's balloons and, balloons and flowers. I actually don't do that. Mm. I coordinate, I theme, you know, I think about an event, create a mood board, do that. And so I realized that was my passion. And so from that, when something is your passion, for me, it's like, it's not work. You're getting paid to do what you love to do, what mm. you do free anyway mm -hmm. so it was easy managing that and my kids you, you had know? your own time you were able to manage yes, your own time exactly okay, okay. so I, I left corporate corporate with the corporate mm. world and i started to you know do that um back then and so coming home naturally it was just it was just so easy so what is you did is you first you learned the terrain i studied the terrain consulted with some other companies some of the other um, big event companies here and then started my own business because i knew i wasn't and again, it was a struggle. But in Nigeria, there's more, and there's more resources for domestic yeah. help. Mm -hmm. And that, again, yeah. that's when I got into that situation. Yeah. But even when I was there, I actually took someone there. I used to have an so old pair. Was, was that a story, you, was, that, was that an experience you had that made you start, the, what, your own particular yes. personal experience? Could you share with us? Gosh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Worse. So, I, I mean, if I go way back, I remember when I wanted to hire, and I just had this, so I have a background in human resources. Mm. And so because of that, it's a natural effort for me to interview. I interview well. I, I read between the lines of what you're saying. I look through resumes and I know there's a gap here. There's something going on here. But when you're telling me your stories don't link, I can tell. And so I, I normally, with me, because of my background in human resources, I would interview them. Um, and what they would say just, you know, sometimes wouldn't. And I decided, you know what, I'm going to vet and check. It's the least I can do. I have kids. They're coming into my home. I remember this girl I brought in. And I said, okay, she came in with all her things. They always come with all their load. They're ready to stay, right? Immediately. And I'm like, no, you're going to go back and you're going to do a check. She goes, okay, no problem. 
So I go back in the house, I lock the door, and, she, and the agent, she comes with the agent, and she called me and said, Madam, um, sorry, we have to tell you, but she has hepatitis C. Hey. I'm like, okay. Like, yeah. And she was going to come and stay and wow. work for me. Immediately. Yeah. Yes. Imagine. So if I didn't insist on that test, she would have moved into my house and started to cook and probably what infect me. Hey. Mm. 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 This case oh, God has saved us. So. Let's, let's, let's talk about, you know, share this power. You know, found that particulates <laughs> event, found that domestic reg, yes. have clients like Zenith Bank. You have, how did one person just decide, you can, if I don't break all of this, that's not me. How does this, you know, how do you feel? How did you arrive there? Share it. Let's see. Let's inspire someone with you. Not been easy. Um, like I said, coming back here, um, got into the corporate world again. I said, learn the terrain. And I, I think my life has just gone in a, in a way where everything I do has domino to where I am today. I I've always believe, like I said, in, in doing what I'm passionate about. Mm. And that's what I'm doing. Yeah. So I love event management. So like I said, it's not a job. So even though I was HR, I did HR director for a while in the corporate world here, but then I was an HR director, sorry. But I just realized that even with that, I would still plan people's, you tell me I'm having something, I'm like, okay, what are we going to do? You. How are we going to do it? I'm already thinking, you know, and I realized that this is really what I'd like to do. It's your and this, yes, and this dominoes into, even at events, we use staff all the time. Mm. And they come and they, they walk by you and they, they, the entire room starts to, oh yeah. God, there you oh go, God, yeah. you know. They walk by you and you're thinking. Start smelling. Oh, like, no, yeah, that's so it's part of it. In fact, me, I get. I have I, experience. I, I, I get sick. Mm. I, my so, my yeah. guest room, actually, we had to do okay. serious overhaul mm. because for any time I pass through that place, there's this. Yeah. I have bought deodorant. I have bought the spray one, the used one, everything, but it never leaves. Mm. Thankfully, she went home for Christmas and didn't come back. So my room so is clean now. So yeah. your room is clean. So, you, so you, you're talking during the break about the fact that we must be weary. Because when people go home for Christmas and they yes. want to come back, yes. that, that timing is always not the best time to get. Is, or is no. that, when is the best time do you think it's good to get to domestic staff in the house? It's good to start looking. I, I'm not going to, honestly, in January some of them come back, but now? Because these girls go home. Mm. They go home and they don't mm. want to come back. There's many reasons. They either don't want to come back to you, they want more money, or this one, they just want to change their location. Or they meet him and they get married. Yeah. So most times, or they stay till they spend all the money they've made all year. Mm. And that's usually you. February, end of mm. February, March, mm. you know. So there's varying situations. Mm. And then, so it, it's good to look. But regardless of when you look, you have to check. You have to vet. Mm. Who are they? Are they really who they say mm. they are? Mm. Mm. That's, that's okay. the key thing. But can there be a database? I would like to have a database of, you know, of agencies, of verified agencies, because now everybody doesn't want to just go through, somebody said, somebody said, bring somebody. Right. Let's go through an agent. But many of these, because I, I, my, I have had an agent that have helped me for years. But unfortunately, when I recently um, referred him to, to my aunt, he totally, he gave her somebody that, he missed the mark. He, he, he missed the mark. So he gave her somebody like it was child trafficking from Ghana. Some hey. it was so really, really, really messy. And I was really disappointed because it's somebody that we've used for years. Yes. And I could have almost vouched for Drop this, by this person. So how do we ensure that these agencies are properly registered? Which agency within like, with legal state is registering, registering these agencies? Or are they, do, they, do the government even know they exist? Most of them are ad hoc. Most of them are just, you know, mm. started. But what it is, I don't, right now, I'm not, I'm, that's why I'm that middle person between the agent and the... User, consumer. Yeah. Yeah. I'm that middle person. I'm not an agent. Right. I don't look for stuff. Okay. Give me your person. Let me help you do yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. Check. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so higher. No, I, mean, higher. I don't look for stuff. Bring me your son. Let me vet and check for you. Let me be that. Let me make sure that it's thorough because these agents don't do what they say they do. Oh, okay. Okay. So how have you helped? You like, have you yeah. ever even had, uh, you know, an example of, uh, you know, bad stuff? Have you helped resolve any crime resulting from employing a staff? Thankfully, no. What I've been doing now, what I am doing is I'm training. So people have had me come into their homes. Okay, I have staff. Help me train. So the chefs, etiquette, hospitality. Again, mm. that leads back to my event management. Right. So I've, everything I do ties together. Yeah. Hospitality, train, table setting. What is your job? How do you perform your duties? And then most of these people don't see it. They don't see it as a career. Mm. That's why. It's a means to an end. But if you start to, you start to explain to them, I listen. This can be something you can do. I guess if you're helping people, but if you're loving and you're, you're a caregiver, 
Are you, do you like being around children? Yeah. You get on the floor and roll. If not, you're in the wrong job. You're in the, mm. wrong, you're in the wrong career path. Mm. But, and I also know people that have had domestics or staff, should I say, that have worked 23 years. Yeah. 23, yeah. 24 years. I, they've raised their kids, they've built houses, and they've done everything, and they're in that job. As, uh, our cook has been with us 25, 27 wow. years. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not. There are, also, there are also some good people out there. Yeah. It's, good, it's not going to say. I'm not going to, it's going to say that they're all bad, which is why my database is for you to come, and before you hire, see if she's been reported by somebody else as Was one there a database for me to find out. So if I have a person now, how how do I know that this person? Because I can come to you. You might have yes. that access. Yes. But I wouldn't know where to go to see if this person has been uh, convicted of a crime. Or how do I know what? That's what I'm doing. Yeah. That's what I'm doing for you. And, I, and while I'm doing this, I'm creating a database. So every time you go on my website and you do a search, yeah. I'm keep I'm collating that database yeah. for you. So if anybody else comes, I can say she's been That's flagged. Right. Or she's great. Right. I'm also doing something on the other side where they can come and register themselves as well mm -hmm. and say, okay, now I'm, I'm a chef for 27 years um, I, and I'm great at what I do and I've been vetted and checked by us and I'm a five star chef or three star housekeeper or nanny for mm -hmm. 10 years. I'm experienced. Yeah. And then you can then come and say, okay, I'm looking for someone. You meet and then you hire that person because she's been vetted and checked. Fantastic. So where do you Amazing. hope to see this in 10 years, five, next five, 10 years? I would like to? it to be where. Anybody comes to you and you say, Have you, are you on domestic mm. Why not? If, if not, why not? What are you hiding? Mm. I'd like it to go where, because like I said, it's not, it's not as a community-wide mm. thing for me. Like, how are we protecting ourselves? Mm. How do I know that the girl that left me that had hepatitis C is not who is working for you mm. or who you're about to hire? Mm. Where do you check this? Mm. Mm. And so that's why I want it to grow to nationwide. Congratulations on the work you're doing. Thank you so much. We like you in, like being interested in things. Yeah. And, um, Thank you. That's the word. That is all That's we can take on today's show. Hope you learned a few things. And tomorrow, hopefully, because I know why, why you want to talk about this ATM matter. People are fighting on the ATMs. And, it's, and we have been emailed in so many ways. <laughs> Don't worry, we are gathering a bit more data so that we'll have a robust conversation about it. But please, get ready to share your experiences with us tomorrow. Have a great mm -hmm. day. We'll see please, you. Please, share your experience. So. <laughs> <laughs> Me feel it.